So my name's James Armour and the Selkie is a 200 mile race from end to end of the Outer Hebrides. It's starting at the Barrowhead Lighthouse at the southern end, all the way up to the Butt of Lewis Lighthouse at the northern end. It's six different swims, six different runs and two bikes across all the islands of the Outer Hebrides, so end to end. So the plan for today, this morning, we are going to swim from Sconser, which is under the Klamig Mountain on Isle of Skye, over to Rassi and then come finish with a little run up to the Rassi distillery. But we're expecting a little bit of chop later on, so we'll have to see how it pans out. There's been plenty of challenges these past 16 months in training, as well as the challenges I know I'll have to face on the day. Of course, there's being in the water, which today is about eight degrees and it hopefully will go up to 12, 13, 14. But when you're on the open seas, of course, there's a lot of mixing, there's a lot of swelling and being in that kind of water means you have to be wearing neoprene. I've got to be wearing thick, thick suits. I've got to be keeping myself as warm as possible. I guess the tides are probably the final big challenge. Um, tides come on a six hour cycle thereabouts and between those highs and lows, you'll have big sweeps from side to side. Our Hebrides are north, south to north. So you're going to have sweeps east and west as the tides are coming in and out. And all these little issues mean that my support vehicles don't know where I'm going to be when and they can only move between the islands on the preset ferry times. I've been training almost every day, five, six days a week, getting in the water all through winter. The past 16 months, it's just been go, 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 go. And that's just in the sea, you know, if we get off, if we get onto land and it's blown a hooli and there's, you know, 40 mile an hour gusts or whatever, then that's also its own challenge. And in that instance, I'll need loads of layers on and I'll need loads of warmth. And, and that kind of stuff is tiring. You know, running is tiring in itself. But if you've got to potentially come out of the water and run with a wetsuit on, that's just going to knack your muscles. Yeah, I'm really just trying my best to be out here on the West Coast and be in it as much as I possibly can so that you know, even when I'm just on land and it's actually going to be really tough just running sometimes when it's blowing, blowing a gale, then I'll have had all the experiences from living here and being here and hopefully be able to draw on those.